I declare the annual Sports Week open. Good morning, one and all. Odi Velayar Papa, Ni Vondir Kalaha the Papa. I can't help but use the words of our great poet Bharatiya as he rightly says, children should not sit idle and while away their free time but play some games to energize their body and mind. While when we hear the world sports, we all tend to think about professional sports with proper training before going into that, I would like to dwell upon into simple games of olden times like Gilly, etc. Where we where we as kids would have spent our time playing in our locality. I feel nostalgic thinking about those days where life itself was simple and beautiful. There used to be a setup in my hometown where it is called as compound, where few houses were built within the same compound, like a modern day row house. All our neighbors would be our Atai's mamas, Pati and Tatas, though they are not actually related. While our mothers would sit in the Tinai and talk out their hearts out, gossip, exchange goodies, etc. With, with others, we kids would run pillar to post and pillar to pillar, playing all the games without gender bias or any other differences for that matter. We would pl also play in the street corners, forming groups within our streets. We didn't have any costly toys to play, but a simple stone or a stick were sufficient for us to keep as happy and engage our neighbors were magnanimous enough to let us scot free for the window panes we have broken n number of times while playing the gully crickets. We used to segregate and plan our times as morning and evenings as outdoor and indoor games and afternoons indoor games like Tayam would be played. When we were tired and worn out of our energies during weekend vacations, these games we played gave us lifelong friendships memorable childhoods, the positive qualities it, it imbibed in us like tolerance, acceptance of other cultures, understanding and appreciating the differences be it community, social background or educational background at a very young stage. Most importantly, we knew to derive pleasure in simple things. Vitamin D and immunity were free of cost unlike these days where it comes in the form of a capsule with heavy price. If ever I would get a time machine without second thought, I would like to go to my childhood days. By saying so, I may sound nice, but not appreciating the change, but life now seems to be more complicated and bit messy. When we talk about formal sports, children of this generation have so many opportunities and exposures to various sports than two, three decades ago. Now you name any game, there is a training available in, in every locality. Now children take sports as a career option, which, which was just a dream those days. We have seen so many sports personality who have made big in the international arena. And the beauty in most of these examples were they were from a humble background like Marycom, Natarajan and recent sensation Mr. Pragyananda. It takes a lot of hard work, determination and, and grit to outshine in such a way. It takes undying passion, love and liking towards the sports to reach such levels. Sometimes we fall prey to money they make and the lifestyle they sporting stars follow to choose sports as a career. But what we fail to see is their amount of work they put in, the sacrifice they have made in to reach that. I have always invited sports person because though they, they have chosen their passion as their profession. I would like to address a major problem today kids are facing, namely the gadgets addiction. They are so addicted to it and they lose interest in the playing and give their time to gadgets and social media, which can cause so many health hazards in children and young adults. So children, keep your gadgets down and in, instead take a sport or game of your choice and start spending time in it. Run, swim or do something to keep your body active. You can simply take an evening ride in your cycle along with a friend which will be so refreshing. In, in our earlier days we used to rent a cycle for a whole day and rode till our legs ache. 
Every earlier heart failures, rising stress and stress levels are majorly due to sedentary lifestyles and bad eating habits. Last but not the least, as far as sports is concerned, nothing can go wrong in it. It, it can only be beneficial be it physical fitness, mental strength, personality development or discipline or team spirit, sportive attitude and acceptive failures etc. The list is endless so children go play the entire world is your playground. It would be a crime if I miss out the world cup that's going on now that too hosted by us. As every other fan of the sport I would like watching India grab the cup under our coach Rahul Dravid Jail.